This is Eric Alexander, Six Arrows Consulting. I'm on a campus on the East Coast. It's a pretty day here, and I'm excited here in a few hours to be teaching a class at a graduate school of banking on the role of the community bank CFO. And the, the program is given it a subtitle calling Rising to the Challenge. So that'll be fun here shortly. One of the things we'll be talking about is the role of the CFO includes leadership, obviously, includes stewardship, and an important part of both of those is accountability. As a leader, one of the things I do is I help hold my team accountable. As a steward, one of the things that is true is I am accountable for things that have been entrusted to me. So we'll be talking about accountability along the way. Recently, I was doing a workshop with some finance leaders on that very topic, accountability. We did a deep dive on it to start off that time. One of the things I asked the folks to do is, without looking it up, no Google, no AI, what's accountability? Give me a definition. Well, one of the participants, she'd already looked it up or she was just being non-compliant, I'm not sure. Anyway, she shared a dictionary definition and so I wanna take a minute and explore that. It's pretty interesting, so bear with me while I read it to you. Merriam-Webster Dictionary, accountability, the quality or state of being accountable. That's not so helpful. But then it goes on to say, especially an obligation or willingness to accept responsibility or to account for one's actions. Let me reread that. The state of being accountable, especially an obligation or willingness to accept responsibility or to account for one's actions. Now, it's a little bit bold to quibble with the dictionary writers, but I want to quibble just a little bit. They've got two ors in there that I think ought to be replaced with some ands. So I think it should, should read like this. It's the obligation and the willingness to accept responsibility and to account for one's actions. So let's dig a little bit deeper into that. The obligation side, as a steward, somebody who is accountable, I have an obligation to account for my actions. It's just part of it, it's part of the package. It's non-negotiable. Now, I may engage in that begrudgingly. I may uh, be difficult, I may be passive about it, but I am obligated as a steward, as somebody who's accountable to give an account for my actions. So that's a reality, but it's a, that's a pretty low bar. That's just a definition of what's involved. I may not embrace it. I may not do it well. I may not have, have that in my heart and in my brain is something that's important, but just something I have to do. And it shows in how I go about it. But that next part, I'm obligated, but accountability also includes the willingness to give an account. Now that's a high bar. That's a, it gets pretty convicting when I think about that because I, I don't always live there. I don't always walk in that uh, fruitfully all the time, but it is a part of healthy, fruitful accountability. The obligation paired with the willingness, paired with me embracing and doing what I can to foster a good accountability with my teams, me, myself being accountable. So accountability includes communicating clear expectations and it also includes following up on that and uh, monitoring performance relative to those expectations. Sometimes I need to initiate the clarifying of the expectations for me. Sometimes I need to initiate the communication about my performance relative to those expectations and then what kind of actions ought to be taken relative to the gaps there. So that willingness is a high mark, it's a high bar, it's not one I always live to very well, but it is important. Uh, let's rise to that challenge. If we do that well in our leadership, in our stewardship, as CFOs, in other roles, that really makes the relationship fruitful. It's good for everybody involved. It's good for the ones who entrust things to us. It's good for us as stewards who have had things entrusted to us. Something to think about. Thanks for listening.